Welcome to the Adventure Family Channel. In this overnight adventure, I head into the Boise National Forest where I explore the Trinity Mountains. I try my hand at a little fly fishing and some kayaking and have an incredible time. Thanks for coming along. Entering the Boise National Forest. I'm hoping to get out of this uh, smoke-filled valley and up into the hills for a little uh, overnight trip to an area called Trinity Lakes. So that's the South Fork of the Boise River and the Anderson Reservoir Dam. Got to go across that over to the other side, I believe, and up into the mountains. said this is Anderson Ranch Reservoir. Beautiful. Beautiful back here. So just left the Anderson Lake heading up Trinity Ridge Road. They obviously had a fire come through here. I don't know how long ago, uh, but it's still pretty beautiful. And thankfully, the temperature is dropping. It's now about 89 degrees. I think it was about 95 down in the valley. And uh, more importantly, the sky is uh, returning blue. Still a little smoke up there, but not as bad as it was in the valley. Wildfires are a sad but not new reality, as noted by this historic fire map. It was a dozen years ago when fire roared through this area in 2012, which was known as Idaho's worst fire season. The fire that specifically came through this area was the Trinity Ridge Fire, and it burnt more than 140,000 acres between July and September of 2012. But as you can see, nature is reclaiming this land as the wildflowers are still blooming and the trees are starting to grow again. Trail sure has gotten uh, a lot rougher, but uh, not too bad.
that looks like Trinity Lakes down there. So there's not a lot of dispersed camping in this area, but there are three Forest Service campgrounds. The Big Roaring River Lake Campground, Little Roaring River Lake Campground, and the Big Trinity Lake Campground. And each campground has about 12 sites with a pit toilet and fire rings. The roads in this area are only open from July to November, so this makes this a nice summertime and fall place to visit. I was here midweek at the beginning of August, and I would say less than half the sites were taken. I set up my camp on the southeast side of Big Trinity Lake, and I only had one other camper near me. Well, I'm camped here at Big Trinity Lake. It is a Forest Service campground. Not a lot of dispersed spots around here, but uh, not, a few, not a lot of people. It's super peaceful. The stream coming down over there. And the lake is right on the other side of those trees. So I think I'm going to fill up the kayak, go for a uh, go for a paddle and maybe try some fishing. Let's see how it goes. After fishing for about an hour and losing several flies and not getting any nibbles, I decided to put away the fishing pole and head back to camp.
This is just so incredibly peaceful out here. Just loving this. Fish or no fish, it's still a lot of fun. All right, this is my first time setting up the Starlink in the wild. So we'll see uh, if we can make this work. Got some trees around, but it's not too thick. I think we'll be okay. Let's see, uh, let's see how it does. Starlink is up and running. A little bit of obstructions, but it's still going. Show you how much energy it's using here. Not too bad. Probably on average about 50 watts. Cocktails getting made and dinner is cooking. Couldn't ask for a better place to camp. After finishing my morning coffee, I packed up and headed back out on the trail. Well, this is my first time back here in the Trinity uh, Mountains. They're beautiful. Despite the uh, fire that came through here, probably, I'm guessing about 10 years ago, it's still very, very beautiful. I generally prefer dispersed spots, but uh, midweek in August, there weren't that many people here. And I bet you come back uh, in September after school starts. Midweek, there probably won't be anybody back here. The wildflowers are just amazing. So this was just a quick trip up in the Boise National Forest. Uh, my goal is to do a little more exploring here in my uh, own backyard. Beautiful. Uh, I look forward to coming back here without all the smoke from the western wild wildfires. I can only imagine it would be even more uh, awe-inspiring. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you the next time we venture outside.